Hello, gentles and lady men. I'm Ulan Gaming, and today we are talking all about Portugal's new card, Fiatorius. I, I don't know whether or not I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I don't care. Uh, your town centers now slowly trickle all resources. Uh, indeed, this card is a fantastic addition to Portugal, and today we are going to talk all about the math around it, as well as the upper limits of what the uh, of what the uh, shipment is capable of. So we see the shipment has arrived, and now our town center is trickling a, a total of 0 0.5, oh, sorry, 1.5 resources per second. Uh, split between 0 0.6 per second on food, 0 0.3 on wood, 0 0.3 on coin, and 0 0.3 on XP. Uh, now, this is already a fantastic trickle uh, by itself, and we can tell this by comparing it to the uh, the four kind of big base triple car trickle cards that are in the game. Those being Culbertism, Distributivism, and Capitalism as well as uh, the other one that India and I think Japan has that trickles every resource. I forget what that's called, that one's called. Uh, but, Culbertism is our food trickle card, and that one delivers 1.5 food per second. Now, the town center here, uh, at just with one town center, uh, gives the exact same amount of resources in total, it being 1.5 per second, uh, but it splits among things that are not food, and because food is the least valuable resource, that makes this shipment at base give us a higher amount of, uh, of value. Now, capital, uh, now distributivism gives 1.25 wood per second, and honestly, I want to say these are about equal, because even though the town center does have a greater amount of value it gets out of it. Uh, the fact that it's that distributivism is pure wood gives you a big edge and a lot of capabilities when it comes. To, it give, gives you a lot of freedom to uh, to build a lot of buildings where where when you don't need that many wood choppers. And the same can be said when you get more town centers here, but I, I do think that at a base level, when you only have one town center, distributivism is better. Uh, with Capitalism, this is the biggest winner of the three. You have 1.65 coin per second, uh, which is higher than 1.5 and in a useful resource that's not food, so double whammy right there. It's, it's, it's the best of the three. Uh, then you have the uh, Indian and Japanese one. I believe they both have it. Uh, that deliver that sets every single player on your team with a 0 0.2 food, wood, and coin per second, and then a 0 0.1 XP uh, and uh, XP and export per second. Now this is a total. Uh, it also and 0 0.1 influence. Now this is a total of 0 0.6. Well, is 0 0.7 resources per second if you are European or native or uh, federal, and a total of 0 0.8 resources per second if you are Asian or African. Uh, now, honestly, I'm not really a big fan of this because the, the trickles are so small in that case that you have to wait, you know, 10 seconds before you get even one point of XP, which is uh, a little inconsequential and I think not worth a shipment even if it does affect the entire team. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, in this case, I think that is the worst of all of the triples and that this one is better than it by far at a base level. But we're not just talking about the base level uh, because Portugal, of course, gets, gets more town centers every time they age up. That is part of their civilization bonus. Uh, so we are going to do just that. Here we are, aged up. We're going to place our town center immediately. While in transition, I killed off all of our settlers, so uh, we can. So the resources per minute that we see down here is going to be accurately depicting just the town centers. Uh, we can see that just the one town center is giving 18 on average food and uh, wood and coin per second and 37 wood in uh, 37 to uh, 40 ish uh, yeah, 37 ish food per second 
Now that we have a second TC, both of these numbers double. Now, in age two, uh, two TCs is the most you can get. Unfortunately, Portugal doesn't have any shipments that can increase their town center limit in age two. Uh, so, when we get here in age two, you know, the upper limit is going to be 1.2 food per second. 0.6 wood per second, 0.6 coin per second, and 0.6 XP per second, which is honestly still fantastic, especially the XP is going to be very monumental in any kind of uh, heavy early game play. Uh, Port Portugal, it, it, this is pretty much a must send, as as soon as you have the second TC in H2, uh, as soon as you have the second uh, TC in H2, uh, this new card right here, uh, Feitorias, is basically the best trickle card in the entire game. It is an absolutely insane amount of value you get out of an H1 shipment with just having a second TC. Because uh, right now we are trickling a total of three resources per second. But for now, we're going to go up to the next stage. Alright, now we are in H3, we get a third town center just by itself, putting us right at the three town center limit, we can't even build any with our explorer, but we do have access to two different shipments in here. Uh, Donatarius, specifically, is, is fantastic, it increases the town center build limit by two, and the covered wagon as well, which gives us, you know, just a covered wagon, so that, that further increases it by one for a total of six. Now, what's fantastic about Fatoria's shipment is that a standard factory, get, without any upgrades, just a base level factory, uh, gives 5.5 XP, uh, it gives 5.5 resources per second. Now, with only 4 TCs, uh, with only 4 TCs active, Portugal will outpace this. With 4 TCs, Portugal will have 6 resources per second, which is greater than that of a, uh, which is greater than that uh, that a factory gives you. I mean, you basically just have another factory. Or, sorry, now that we have 5, we have even more, and then this is going up to 6 in a second to give us a total of 9 resources per second, which is greater than that of an unupgraded factory, which is greater than that of an fa uh, uh, upgraded factory. Being able to get six TCs in the third age is absolutely fantastic. It's a huge, like, eco benefit. You're going to be shitting out settlers just out of your mind for the first little while. Uh, refrigeration can really help you, you know, ma maintain and buy everything that you need. But here we are at six TCs with our six TCs. Oh, no, I'll wait. At this point in the game, we'll, we'll take another stock at the total resources we are getting. Uh, with these trickle rates, we are getting 3.6 food every single second, and 1.8 wood, 1.8 XP, and 1.8 tr uh, coin every single second. Uh, that in, in grand total across all of our town centers. Now, this is a huge amount of resources that, that we are suddenly getting. If you look here... Uh, the, the, it, these these trickles are actively just pulling in an insane amount of resources per minute. We have 215 food per minute, 110 food per minute, and 112 coin per minute. You know, the, this is better than any of the age, individual age one trickles. This is better than all of the trickles put together by a pretty large margin. Uh, it's it's a really impressive thing, especially the 3.6 food per second. It's actually really really nice. Uh, but now we can go up to H4 and see our town center building it there. Alright, now that we have hit age 4, we get... He's back. This is why he's jumping the musketeers. Now that we have aged up to age 4, uh, we get access to our 7th town center. As you can see here, uh, just from the Portugal Age Up bonus. And we also get access to the two covered wagon card. 
uh, which will further increase the amount of town centers we have from seven all the way up to nine, in which we will have uh, 12 total resources per second trickling in between all of the town centers. Of course, this is strict when, when you're thinking about strict bonuses. Uh, the two town centers is only adding three resources per second, and as such, probably should not be prioritized over your factories. The recommendation would be for you to send the factories first and then send the two covered wagons after that. Uh, but 12 town centers is, nine town centers is the upper limit of age four. Alright, now as we're edging up to 5, uh, now I'm fully aware that most games don't go to age 5, but I wanted to talk about the upper limit of the four, what is it called again? <laughs> of the Fatorious shipment, because the upper limit of it is really, really cool. Now you'll notice, um, I'll, I'm sure Portugal players already know this, but aging to 5 does not give you a new town center. You only get three new town centers going up to ages 2, 3, and 4. Uh, however, what going out to H5 does do is reset and later resends the two covered wagon and one covered wagon shipments, which means our total of shipments that we can actually get is 12. And it, here we go, we have 12 active TCs on the map, giving us a total of eight resor 18 resources per second, split between food, wood, coin, and especially XP uh, being super valuable. Uh, now, 18 resources per second is greater than that of two upgraded factories, which means this age one trickle shipment that we are giving here is giving us more than two factories worth of resources in the fifth age, which is just insane. Two up upgraded factories. It, like at that, it is an incredibly powerful bonus that that uh, that Fatorius gives, and it is it is no wonder that it has become the staple base age two base age one card of Portugal. It heavily outpaces every single other like card that you could possibly send in age one uh, in in pretty much no time at all. Uh, so, yes, this is the upper limit of what Portugal is capable of on its own with 12. However, there are ways that you can further increase your town center build limit. Uh, if you have a German, I, uh, if you have a German, I think Aztec as well, um, Mexico or USA teammate, which all have Team 1 town center uh, shipments, then you can, of course, further increase it that way. And on the map, oh, what is the map? I'll put it up on screen. Uh, but on one map, every team always starts with a town center treasure in its base uh, that increases your building by one. That should pretty much always be given to Portugal if there is a Portugal player on your team now. Like, there's, there's no question about it. Uh, so that is gonna do it today. I just wanted to talk about math a little bit, and the new Fatoria shipment is awesome. I'm trying. I have been uh, trying out Portugal recently, and I have been really, really enjoying how they play. Uh, probably expect a Portugal video or two to come out later. And have a great day. Thank you guys for very much for watching. Have a great day, and goodbye.